my name is Paul Carl. I'm a vice president with Haran Wealth and I lead our retirement plan consulting group. With me this week is Thomas Reitzis. Thomas, please introduce yourself. Sure. So my name is Thomas Reitzis. Like Paul said, I'm a certified financial planner and uh, national social security advisor here uh, with Haran Wealth. Uh, I work with my clients in all areas of financial planning. So happy to be here. Thanks, Paul. Fantastic. Thanks for being here. Thomas, today's topic is rebalancing your investment portfolio. What does rebalancing your investments involve? Yeah, it's a, it's a very important topic. So before I dive into the rebalancing part, you know, first the clients want to going to they're going to want to determine their risk tolerance. So on the spectrum of things, you have conservative, moderate, and aggressive, and kind of everywhere in between, right? Conservative, moderate, or moderate aggressive. So um, of course, the more risk one takes, the mm -hmm. more potential return. The less risk, the less potential return, but then your investments are a little bit more stable. So that's important to determine uh, before diving into the rebalancing part. So if I'm understanding you correctly, the amount of risk an individual is willing to take can correspond to their expected investment return. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Great. Then they allocate their investments based on risk tolerance. Yeah, so um, kind of like going back to that spectrum, conservative, moderate, or aggressive, right? So if you're 50% stock, 50% bonds, that'd be like a moderate mm -hmm. risk tolerance, right? So um, sitting down and kind of figuring how much risk you're comfortable with will then help you determine where you fall on that spectrum. So that gets us back to the original question rebalancing investments. Why don't exactly. you tell us? Exactly. So, you know, once you determine your risk tolerance, right, let's say you're a moderate risk investor, 50% stock, 50% bonds. Mm -hmm. Well, if the market goes up and stocks, let's say stocks go up, well, now you're more heavily in stocks, right? So you look at your portfolio and say, I went from a moderate investor to potentially a more aggressive investor, right? Moderate, aggressive, or aggressive. So rebalancing, to get back to your question is, um, taking those investments and realigning them back to your moderate risk tolerance. That in this case would be more moving more towards bonds, right? And so it's I look at it as an investment reset back to what you're comfortable with, really. Okay. Okay. That that really makes sense. So this seems to work quite well when I think about 401k plans that use long-term approaches and an investment menu. But what about personal investment accounts? Yeah, it's it's a good question. So in personal uh, investment accounts, the same thing applies. Uh, the only thing you want to be mindful of is like in accounts outside of tax deferred accounts, like the 401ks and IRAs, uh, when one's rebalancing their investments, you want to be aware of potential tax implications is the biggest thing. So, so it's still applicable, but just taxes may come into play. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thomas, thank you so much for this very insightful information. You can find more about this topic and other wealth-related topics at our website, haranwealth.com backslash insights. Thanks, everybody.